Happy Thursday, everyone. Sam Hoyle here with MTN Sports and the Class AA Basketball State Tournament got underway bright and early this morning, and now we move into the latter half of the day. We're on the girls' side. The Helen High Bengals took on the hometown favorite, Butte Bulldogs. If you didn't know, the Class AA State Tournament is being held at the Butte Civic Center. Butte student section out in full force and rowdy. We'll start off early. Jamie Pickens gets the entry pass, drives in for two, Helen up 12 to 6 after one. But back come the Bulldogs. Brittany Tierney intercepts the pass dribbles and drains the three. She had a team high 17 in this one. Now Paige Osved has answers for that. She spots up in the corner and buries the triple. Bengals take a 23-19 lead into halftime. Now out of the break, Allie Cleverly jumpstarts the Bulldog offense with a runner in the lane. Bulldogs down after three, though. They'd cut that Bengal lead to five, but Vanessa Walsh puts on the brake, says check your ankles, and uses the glass on the jumper. Bengals win 56 to 44, and now we find out who they play against in this next one. It's Helena Capital and Great Falls. We've got a good one here, folks. First quarter, and Sydney Sheridan she finds Paige Barch down low, and she finishes in with the easy laying. Great Falls sticking with the Bruins in the first, though. Ryan Palmer feeds it to Aaron Watt, who hits the tough shot to tie it up. But here comes Capital in the second quarter. Great ball movement by the Bruins. Danny Barch finds Mara McGinley for the three and the four-point lead, folks. Then more great ball movement as this game goes on at the end of the half. Bruins swing it around, then to ins then inside to Nicole Ames, who finishes for the 21 to 11 lead. Then Capital just opened it up down low to Danny Barch again, and she finishes yet again. Sheridan running on the fast break. She's going to get it down to Emily Kidder, who drives and scores. It's 25 to 11 in the third now. Now it's Kidder's turn to work down low. She's going to score. And then it's to Megan Lint, or sorry, yes, that is to Emily Kidder down low. She scores Capital having their way. They go up by 16. Then Sheridan running the fast break again, finds Barch again. A lot of, a lot of names here, folks. She finishes with a nice hook shot. Capital goes on to win by a score of 55 to 30. Now you may be 